Hello and welcome again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video I'll do um, this ear. It's a smaller ear model that we have in the lab. Um, again, this top, up, this top part up here is representing the temporal bone and where it surrounds the apparatus of the ear. I'll take off that top part. If we look inside, we have vestibule again. We have cranial nerve number eight, the vestibular co vestibulocochlear nerve. We have the cochlea down here. We have semicircular canals. We have the tympanic membrane in blue. And we have the little bones, the malus attached to the tympanic membrane, the incus right next to the malus. And then the stapes on this model is at the end of those other two bones right here. That's the stapes. Let's take out the cochlear apparatus here. The shell, the shell looking part here is the cochlea. The vestibule is where the cochlea leads to, so this is vestibule. For this model, they have two little indentations that you might be able to make out on this video. This one is the oval window and then below it is the round window. Oval window, round window. And again, vestibule, semicircular canals, there are three of them. Vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay, going back to the larger model itself, again, the opening is the external auditory meatus. This is the external auditory canal. And in here is the eustachian tube or auditory tube. And I think that is all of the features for this model that we need to know. As always, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you again for watching.